Hello, beautiful, wonderful people. No, oh, that's nice. She must be talking about me. Welcome back to my channel. My name is M, and today I'm going to answer the question. Well, hello. M. Isn't that more of a letter? How do crystals work? Oh. Go nuts on my nuts. I said I'm I've never even heard of Sir Sec. Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Playing a Blinder. I guess today I'm just C. Because names seem to have fallen out of fashion. And today we're going to be taking a little look into the crazy world <laughs> of crystal healers with my new friend M. Wasn't she from the James Bond movies? So crystals have been used since the dawn of civilization. The ancient Sumerians used them as divination tools and the ancient Egyptians used them to increase their vitality and sex appeal. Well, just because they've been used since the dawn of civilization doesn't mean that they actually are effective. And divination? Yeah, people that believe crystals can heal them <laughs> would be a nation of divs. <laughs> and you can double check with Mrs. Blinder, but if I want to get her in the mood, all I gotta do is whip out my pet rock, and she's gagging for it. For example, amethyst, which is a known sobriety and temperance stone, actually means not drunken, because it was used in ancient Greece to prevent over-intoxication. Now obviously, I'm no crystal expert, and I don't pretend to be, but from what I can tell, the only way amethyst would be able to stop you from getting drunk would be if you had it in your gob so you weren't able to swig down the beer. We have found evidence of crystal use all over the world, in India, in China, in New Zealand, in South America, in Mexico, even in the early Americas with Native American cultures such as the Hopi and the Hawaiian Islanders. All of these traditions have some recognition of crystals and their healing properties. Okay, fair point. But all that tells me is that the idiot stick is blind to race and color. <laughs> stick with me. Stick with me. <laughs> she made an idiot stick joke. <laughs> Modern day crystal healing is a mix of all of these traditions, but relies really heavily on the concept of gullibility, chi, the Chinese concept of chi, and the Hindu Buddhism concept of the chakras. Uh, chi would have to be a whole video all to itself because that's another concept that's difficult to prove or disprove because it's impossible to test. Chi, meaning life force, is the energy that flows through all living things. I thought that was the Medichlorians. <laughs> Star Wars? No? So energy is flowing through all living things. I have energy, you have energy. Did you just presume energy? How rude. That's not very PC at all. How old are you? Early 20s? Well, I most certainly am not. So whilst you may have energy in abundance, I ain't got much at all. <laughs> but I put it down, I'm a funny age. And because we are made of matter, and because matter is made of atomic particles that are organized in a lattice structure, when this energy passes through us, we emit a frequency or a vibration. Yeah, I've been known to emit some vibrations myself. <laughs> But again, I'm a funny age, I can't help it. <laughs> what am I becoming? <laughs> now as humans, we are fluid, we're dynamic, we are always changing, and so is our energy. Our energies and our vibrations shift and they change depending on what we think and how we feel and what we're around and on so many things, on everything really. Now in contrast, the lattice structure of a crystal is so tightly compacted because they were formed under intense heat and pressure that they emit a stable frequency, a stable and pure energy. So I will go and assume that you've got proof of this energy being emitted from crystals. Because you've not, there's anecdotal evidence at best. Everything is just pseudoscientific claptrap based on people believe in, in the healing effects of crystals, but it's just the placebo effect. So for example, this crystal is going to emit a frequency that is much different than this crystal. 
And so they can be used to heal different things or be used in different ways. No, don't be so stupid. One's a green rock, one's an orange rock. It's as simple as that. So because the natural order of all things is well-being, it's prosperity, it's growth. So when we are out of alignment, when we are out of balance, we are naturally going to be drawn to heal ourselves. Okay, yeah, fair dues. We do want to be well when we're not feeling well. But stop claiming that these inanimate objects have got healing powers because they haven't. It's just the placebo effect. Now, the placebo effect is a very real thing. There's been hundreds of thousands of studies done on the placebo effect. Um, and it all stems from the person believing that the placebo itself, whether it be a crystal or a pill or whatever it may be, they have to believe that it's going to heal them to heal them, if that makes sense. But that doesn't mean that these magical rocks have got healing powers, because they haven't. Much like a plant will shift towards the light to grow. You're going to be drawn to a crystal that has the vibration of the thing that will bring you most into alignment with your well-being. I can't possibly be the only person that's really bothered by this sort of garbage. The thing that worries me, and I, this video is becoming a bit more serious than I would have liked, but there we go. What if somebody believes this nonsense and they're genuinely ill, we'll say cancer. And they choose to hug a rock instead of going to see a medical professional and getting the treatment that will actually help them. Now I know the placebo is... Words. Now, I know the placebo effect can be a powerful thing, but it can't replace actual medical treatment, life-saving medical treatment in some cases. And that's what really bothers me about this sort of crap, is that there could potentially be people passing away because they chose a rock over a doctor. Or a rock over a dock. <laughs> so instead, your energy has to raise to meet the energy of the crystal. This is essentially how crystal healing works. This is the basic nitty gritty theory of crystal healing. Ah, well, why didn't you say that it's just a theory? <laughs> yeah. Now it's all starting to make sense. So. We have to believe the crystals have healing properties because you say they do. So there's no actual evidence to back it up, but you say they work, so we just have to believe you. Makes perfect sense now. So crystals also demonstrate the piezoelectric effect. It's because it allows this, this energy transformation. For example, a quartz microphone reacts to the force of sound waves. I'm so glad she did this with her hand. I'd never have known what sound waves were otherwise. <laughs> Hitting that crystal, it transforms it into electromagnetic energy, which then can be amplified and sent through the air to you. And yeah, that's all 100% correct. There are microphones with quartz in them. There are watches with quartz in them. Quartz watches, strangely enough. But just because quartz can conduct sound waves, is conduct the right word? I don't know. Don't care either. <laughs> Crystals cannot heal illness. You silly girl. Now on your side, crystals such as pyrite are good at... Nothing. And leave me out of it. You can use crystals to bring you back into alignment, to raise your frequency and help prevent any sort of disease or ailment. What? So you mean to tell me that in order for me to never be ill again, ever in my life, all I have to do 
is keep a few rocks knocking about. Well, where do I sign? I mean, that is to say, over time. <sighs> There's always a bloody catch, isn't there? If you have exposure to low vibrations, low thoughts, negative self-talk, energy vampires around you. <laughs> Wait, so you mean I don't have to deal with my crippling insecurities by putting myself on YouTube for thousands of strangers to laugh at me? <laughs> you mean I can just hold a crystal? <laughs> and on that note, are you too bald? Are you old? Are you a bit chubby? Are you insecure? Well, if you are, <laughs> maybe you'd like to be in a Creaky Blinder video. I'm currently taking submissions for people to tell me why they watch my videos. And I may or may not poke a little bit of fun at you. All in the name of comedy, of course. So if you do fancy being in a Creaky Blinder video, then record a clip, preferably in landscape mode if you can, because portrait mode really annoys me. Upload it to your Google Drive, make it a shareable link, and message me or email me the Google Drive link, and I will include it in a video I'm planning to record next week. Anyway, back to the crystal check. It doesn't happen immediately. It's definitely something that happens over time. But we're all trying to stay, or it should be our goal, to stay in some sort of alignment and to have a sense of well-being, to feel good. Okay, look. Now, obviously, I'm just trying to be funny about this whole situation and clearly failing miserably. <laughs> if you want to believe in crystals, believe in them. It's fine. It doesn't hurt anybody. Or does it? Because when you take it to the extreme, look, let me just put it like this. If you, if having possession of crystals of one description or another makes you feel better about yourself, makes you feel more happy, more content, more comfortable, then fine. Buy as many crystals as you want. But just remember, that's exactly all they are, is just crystals. They don't do anything. At best, it's going to be a placebo effect. And if it is, great. You know, I don't dislike this girl. She seems like a sweet kid. Because when you're my age, everybody is a kid. Um, but, yeah. Just take it with a grain of salt. Which I think, ironically, is salt the crystal. <laughs> anyway, if it's your first time here, don't forget to like the video. Or dislike it. Makes no difference either way, as I said in the last video. Engagement's engagement. I'm getting really, really close to 10k now. I've just passed 9.6 thousand. Yeah, you get the idea. Thanks YouTube for abbreviating the subscriber numbers. Um, I'm actually on 9,606. But anyway, I digress, as always. Where was I? What? Hello? Um, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Turn on bell notifications so that you know when I upload new content. I'm the Creaky Blinder, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.